Hey, Dr. Goldberg here, uh, continuing our internal medicine lecture series. Today we're going to talk about loss of consciousness. So basically, there's about five causes of loss of consciousness. When you see people in the ER or in prompt care or in the hospital as you work them up, over 60% of these patients are going to have vasovagal uh, syncope, uh, related to cough, micturition, or uh, defecation, or something like that where there's a stimulation uh, of the vagus nerve, generally a, a, obviously a benign condition. Second most common cause of uh, loss of consciousness is orthostatic hypotension and orthostatic loss of consciousness. About 10% of our cases are related to that. Either we've got an auto, uh, uh, a, uh, autonomic neuropathy, such as we see in patients with diabetes mellitus, hypovolemia from dehydration, uh, or a drug-induced uh, orthostatic hypotension, such as related to Parkinson's meds, that type of thing. Third most common uh, cause of loss of consciousness is a cardiac arrhythmia, either a bradycardic arrhythmic or a tachycardic arrhythmic. Sick sinus syndrome would be a good example of this, or VTAC. Fourth common cause of uh, loss of consciousness, which is only seen about 5% of the patients, but certainly got to be aware of it, is an MI aortic stenosis, pulmonary hypertension, or uh, asymmetric hypertrophy. Um, you know, not as common, but certainly got to be aware. The last uh, cause of uh, loss of consciousness that one must be conscious of uh, is uh, a non sinkable event, a metabolic problem, uh, such as hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, hyponatremia, a seizure disorder, uh, a drug intoxication, uh, or a TIA. Uh, but only again about 5% uh, of cases. Most of our cases are going to be vasovagal. We may have, you know, we, we're going to obviously uh, suggest good hydration for our patients that have this. Might have to put them on an anticholinergic anti agent such as scopolamine. Actually, even SSRIs have been helpful uh, in these patients. It's an orthostatic uh, uh, hypotension, such as related diabetic uh, uh, autonomic neuropathy, we may have to put these patients on fluidocortisone uh, or even mitodrine. Uh, so, nice summary for a uh, loss of consciousness, consciousness for you. Uh, you're going to see this a lot. Uh, most of the time, these patients, when they come in through the ER, half of them will be uh, basically diagnosed uh, in the ER. Uh, and again, fortunately, most of these cases are benign. Uh, thanks, Dr. Goldberg, uh, signing off.